Welcome back, friends. I'm Mila7, and this is Nantucket. And if you remember last episode, we were brutally murdered by savages and war canoes. And we have we have saved scum. We've, we've, we've reloaded from the previous save. And we're going to continue on and see if we can get something to happen here. So, we are looking for uh, a ship. Blanche, maybe? Um, let's see. It's under fire. So, here's our option. We can board the ship. Last time I was getting attacked by war canoes, and we had to, we had some options, and we chose the wrong one. Uh, so we can board the ship and get as many goods. We can get up to 300. 50 percent, nothing happens. 10 percent of crew dies. See if there's resources. We get barrels of various types. 20 percent chance of crew dies. 40 percent, nothing happens. Uh, we can pick up survivors, um, and I think that's what we do. We just go ahead. We got a 50 percent chance of getting a prestige. Nothing negative will happen. Um, that's it. They're taken by prior. It's not a single crew member, so we got nothing out of that. So. We can come right back here to Nantucket, and we can turn that in. Or, and this is what I suggest we do, is it June? Nope, it's not June yet. Um, yeah, let's go turn it in. Oops, no. There we go. So we're going to go back and turn that one in and see what that goes. Maybe next we go up to Horda. Uh, April, May. Uh, well, that one's going to... Uh, we've got about two months before that one kicks in. So let's enter the harbor, turn in the one quest we have. New issue of the papers available. Maybe we can get a job that will be useful for us. So jobs, we can turn in this one. Uh, hey, we can do this one. Deliver goods to uh, Imbatuba. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we need 50. So we're going to accept that. It's 38 days away. I think we probably still have the food and stuff for that. So um, 73. Yeah, we got plenty of food for this one. So And water. So we'll just say okay. And we'll sail away. And we'll, we'll deliver some stuff to Imbatuba. And then by the time we come back, hopefully that June... Uh, that June window will be open and we'll be able to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of whaling in that area. Potentially. Assuming it loads. There we go. Um, there we go. Imbatuba. So this one, see, we go against the winds a little bit. So we kind of have to, we can kind of figure out how we want to do this. So I think I'm actually going to go here, here, and then down to here. And then finally at Imbatuba. There we go. It says 43 days, but I think... If we go here, we're, we've got a pretty strong chance of ending up with against wind, with winds that are going against us. My little sister's middle name is Shaden. Uh, okay, he spends a lot of time fixing up his food, so we can take we could get gourmet. So remember, we got that last time by letting him eat too much in one of the episodes. I don't remember. We got gourmet. Now we've run into some wind issues. You can see, we didn't have any for a little bit. We sped back up. We were three days behind. Doesn't look like we're quite going to make up any of that time, but that's okay. We have plenty of food and water to get us there. Oh, ran into an issue. Um, work ethic, okay. I get another diligent trait, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Diligent trait added. So that's going to get us another skill. Oh, did we not get that last time? Okay, well, we got it back. We got it back. I thought, I thought we already had that one, but apparently our save wasn't quite good enough. I'm just going to go right to here. Zip on in there to port. Maybe. We lost the wind again. Reached our destination. Uh, they accept the delivery and ask you to unload. So there we go. So. Uh, I'm just trying to get into town there. Let's away. There we go. Maybe. Why are we not? Having a hard time getting into harbor there, huh? Into the harbor. Okay. New issue of the paper. Doing okay. Uh, no jobs here. So, let's go ahead and just stock back up. We're down to nine days of water on that. Whoops. I think we want at least 100 days of everything. And we'll go north 
and go whaling. I think we take a little bit more. There we go. Something like that. Uh, and we don't have... We can't work on our boat there. So, I mean, we can't repair anything. It didn't give us the message that the ship was in bad shape or anything. So, hopefully that means we're okay. So, we're going to go north and do a little bit more whaling. Try to make some money. Try to continue to work on our prestige. Um, and level up. We should get more experience from navigating. So, let's go ahead and... Um, we're going to kind of So 57 days to get there. <sighs> July, June, July. We're not going to have a lot of time left there, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, there we go. We might be about to lose. We're going to lose some water. Three barrels of water gone. So we're already down to 79. So we may as well just go to Nantucket now. No point in going north until we fill up our water. And just like that, kind of your, 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 you know, that's, you know, that was a month of water gone. But we'll sail up here. We're already five days behind schedule. So more water gone, essentially. We've got 53 days, so we'll ha we have about 40 days left. But you know, it's going to take about it's going to take 12 days or so to get up there, whatever it is, and then we've got to come back. And now we're slowed down by a storm. We're seven days, eight days late. I'm not quite sure. Ten days behind schedule. So yeah, that was that was a little bit of a that was a brutal trip back. Our, our hammocks have been upgraded though, and there's a new issue of the newspaper. So is there a new job we could get? Uh, deliver goods, get reward. Um, kill Tasmania Sylvester. We're not level nine. We can't do that one. Come in here and check our food. See, we're down to 30 days already. Let's go ahead and whoops, other direction. Now water's not expensive at least, so it doesn't hurt us to take some. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, but you see the price goes up and down as we go too. So there clearly is a market for that sort of stuff. Um, here it would cost us 40 to buy, but we could only sell for 20. Um, we'll go with that. It's probably more than we need. Um, now we could, we could research something else. So now this one, I think we, it looks like we just buy the poor surgical kit. So we've bought it. Now we can research another one that'd get us four hit points. I say we go for that. Heck yeah. So we're doing okay there. So let's sail away and let's see if we can do some whaling here before, um, before the episode's over at some point. See if we can get some more experience. Now we should have been gaining experience that whole time. Assuming I was still on the navigation spot, which is entirely possible I wasn't. Yep, Captain just leveled up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So work skill, points, skills, and combat dice. So let's go to, so we get one more of these, and I'm just going to keep dumping it into sailing for now, I think. Um, so now we get an additional skill as well, and this is where we start to split. So this is the hunter class right now where we've been putting points into sailor. So we may as well increase these. So we can learn the evasive skill maneuver. This is, this is Whaler Man, Helmsman, and Harbor Master. So Whaler Man is the guy that actually helms the, the whaling boat, right? So we can come here, and this is going to give us evasive maneuvers. So that would remove a target enemy card altogether. That's pretty good. Um, and then we can go up, perfect balance. We can't be thrown overboard by enemy attacks. And confusing maneuvers while fighting on a whale boat, remove a target enemy card, and that's done. So there's all sorts of that sort of stuff that we could do. This one is going to increase our ship sailing speed just by a flat 10%, which is spectacular. And merchant and shipwright prices are reduced by 10% on that one. I'm going to go with the way the evasive maneuvering one for the moment. That's, I think, the first one I'm going to go with. So we're going to unlock that one. And now we can click and it will add in there. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead. We'll close that. We'll close that. Oh, no, I want to keep that open because I want to see as we get experience. We're going to come up here. Uh, we've got till September. We're not going to get any whaling done, are we?
We're just too late. That's it. Let's, um... Let's go to Horda and see if there's a job there for us. I guess now it's looking for jobs. Uh... Yeah, we don't... I mean, water's cheap, but we don't need to be drinking extra. I don't need to get those traits built in. It doesn't matter now, but later on it may be an issue. Chill Harbor. Civil War new battles took place. Okay, so... Nothing new there. Um, jobs? Uh, yeah. Alright, a new hunting ground. Let's go take a look at that. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Sail away. Sail away, me hearties. I have been to Nantucket, by the way. I've been there. They have a big memorial tower thing there you can go up on. And... Oh, wait. So let's check. Where is it supposed to be? Go to quest. Oh, right there. Beautiful. Oh, I know what I want to check. I want to make sure I was there, and I am. Okay. So if we check here, in theory, we should see my XP going up, except we're there. Lower the war... Lower the whale boats. Shark encounter. Oh no! Oh no, sharks. Um, Curtis, Alan, and myself. How about that? Probably should have taken the crafter, but that's okay. So great white and a young, a youngster and an adult. So I'm gonna go with this for now. I'm gonna roll, we might be able to get, so we could just get rid of this attack altogether, or we can strike. Um, I think we go for the strike while we have the strike. Especially because it's just the youngster that was doing the strike. So that will get rid of that. He's immersed, so we can't do anything now. But you see, deadly jaws, bleeding damage 100%. So let's go ahead and re-roll. We got another strike. In this case, I would have preferred to have this. We can't do this because he's underwater. So we just have to suck it up. And of course, he attacked us. And we're bleeding. We might die again. There's there's two hit points gone. And we've done no damage to him. So let's, let's roll again. And nothing. This is probably me dead. Bleeding's going to kill me. And there we go. Game over. Uh, we lasted 13 minutes longer than last time. So I think that's probably enough of this. So at this point... This game is just brutally difficult, to the point where it's essentially reloading every two saves. So, probably a bit much. Um, they need to balance it a bit. But it's alpha. I mean, what are we complaining about, right? It's alpha. That's, that's the deal. We're just making sure the game works at this point. They're not worried about balance. Um, so, it's a fun game right now, but only if you like dying. Over and over and over and over and over again. Um, you know, these aren't... Uh, I mean, one way you can do this is you can never go out. You can never l go into the boats. You can just stay on the ship, and then you're not going to die. You're going to lose sailors left and right. And at the moment, as far as I can tell, that's really the only playable way to do it. Um, because that way you, as the captain, don't die. Um, but even so, there's going to be other times that that's not an option. So... Um, that's kind of my review on it at the moment, I guess. I think there's a huge amount of promise. I enjoy the game. I don't mind the setting. Um, the fact that the brutality kind of goes both ways. Um, you know, the whales and the sharks, they get their revenge on a pretty regular basis so far. Um, so, you know, it's, it's can you deal with the, the imagery that's involved in the game? Um, that's that's kind of the issue. And if, if you can't, then then just avoid this one. It doesn't. There's not enough here to overcome that, if that's your negative. If that's something you can live with, then I think you'll find a fair amount involved in the game. It's not really a card game per se. I mean, dice, yes, I guess. Um, you know, but there's no real, you know, it says cards in there somewhere, you know, because you play your cards down. But essentially, you're rolling dice. You're not really playing cards. Or at least, you're playing dice. The mobs are playing cards, maybe, which is kind of odd. I'd rather they played dice as well and they had a chance that nothing happened. At the moment, that's not the case. Their attack always works if they attack. So far, anyway. Um, 
Anyway, that's kind of it. So, uh, I have enjoyed it, but again, I don't get very long into the playthroughs, short of just reloading saves every couple times. So, keep an eye on it, but probably... Probably it's not worth spending a lot of time on now, but if you like the promise of it, it's worth purchasing just to help them develop the game. It is an early access on Steam, so... Um, that's about it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.